Hello everybody and welcome back to Victoria where we are currently making a surplus at this moment and we're using that to pay down our credit a little bit but we're also expanding our construction sector in Minas Gerais and a commander has commended a civic coalition huh uh who do we want to have momentum here in the election to be honest the Minas Republican Party would be really good for our legitimacy hmm But I guess we'll give some additional momentum to the Liberal Republican Party. Either way, it's probably going to be pretty good for our legitimacy. So let's keep an eye on that situation. But for now, this seems fine. We're working on enacting cultural exclusion, and that should be very, very good for us. If we succeed this, it'll make 600k individuals more loyal. That is over half of our radicalism right now. So that will be fantastic. We got that construction sector finished. And how are things going in here? There's a steel shortage in Bahia. That is almost certainly due to the market access because that is not in our larger Brazilian market. Okay, so that seems reasonably fine for now. We are still seeing this bug, I'm noticing, this visual bug. I was hoping that would go away when we finished up our... Well, when we finished last episode and I restarted the game, I was hoping that that would go away. Unfortunately, it has not. I think it's just visual, but it's going to be mildly awkward, for sure. We're going to have a railway in Rio Grande do Sul in 17 weeks, and that is prioritized because of our transportation shortage there. So that's okay. We've also got some work going on the railway in Bahia, and that looks fine as well. That's moving pretty slowly at this moment, but we are putting some amount of construction into that. Similarly, we're currently simultaneously building a furniture manufactory and an iron mine. We have four simultaneous constructions going on at this moment. Now, they're not perfect, but we did get cultural exclusion. That sounds wonderful. And that is going to significantly drop our radicalism. They're going to start creeping back upwards slowly over time but that is understood. So those political movements have disbanded. What have we got going on for this election? Okay, 78.9? We'll see. Transportation shortage in Piaui. Okay, we have this railway here. We should probably prioritize that over the railway in Bahia like this. Okay, so we'll get that going. It will be kind of slow, but that's understood. That's completely and totally fine. So we're still positive financially right now. I want to check in on that new construction sector. And let's just see here. Still hiring in a little bit, but it's very, very close to being full. I'm going to build another one in Minas Gerais. It looks like we can afford it. So we'll get that going. That looks wonderful. And we're going to be kind of cautious on the expansion of our construction, but we definitely do want to get that done as soon as we can. So we're going to get these all finished, and that'll be done in two weeks. That will, of course, delay our railroads a little bit, but that is, I think, completely fine. Investment rights broken between Russia and Venezuela. That's interesting. Okay, so the election has finished. We're contested government right now, and the best we can do is what we've got. So, the Catholic Church is unhappy. They'll get over that. The landowners are unhappy as well. Uh, they'll kind of get over that. Is there, some, is there a bone that we can throw the Catholic Church and the landowners legally? I wonder. That we would actually be interested in doing is another uh, another significant question. Charity hospitals the Catholic Church would like. And, I mean, that's better than no health system. We're going to start this. The industrialists are not going to be happy, but that's not going to radicalize them. This isn't going to be a bone thrown to the landowners, unfortunately. They're going to continue to be a bit unhappy, but they're they're going to get over it eventually. Appeasement of political lobbies. Yeah, it's because they're in the anti-British league. And is there anything we want to do about this? Is there anything we even can do to interact with this right now? 
I mean, appeasement is really low, but that is going to go away eventually. We refused a lobby demand. This is timed, right? We refused that like four years ago. I guess it'll be the baseline decay towards zero. Probably. Okay. So somebody's trying to preserve no health system. It's the industrialists. Okay, that makes sense. So we're going to finish up the railway in Rio Grande de Sol here in three weeks. We're still running a small surplus at this moment. And that seems excellent. Everything seems quite good here right now, in fact. Our GDP has pretty much recovered, so that looks solid. And at this point, we could start to think about putting in some additional production methods in some areas. But I think for the moment, there's not really a reason to do that. Okay. So charity hospitals are going to put us pretty negative in our bureaucracy. We know that that's going to be a thing. And if we check in here, I think we canceled the government administrations that were in here. It's a little hard to tell, but I don't think there are any there. So I'd kind of like to work on a government administration somewhere to bring up our bureaucracy so that it's not quite as bad when we get charity hospitals. So I'm going to put that in Minas Gerais as the top priority, I think. Yeah, this railway is still constructing at a pretty decent clip, at least until such a time as the railway in Tarapaca finishes up. It's funding, right? We're not currently building any of those with government, so that seems fine. We got an advance from injured farmers here, and... Hmm. I think we're going to take the 10% enactment success chance. That'll be fine. Now, I do see us dipping negative financially. That's fine. The industrialists have actually left enacting charity hospitals, so basically no one is opposing this at this point. I mean, the industrialists still are, but basically no one is opposing them. Why did the landowner's opinion go down? Radicalism. Okay, yeah, that'll do it. The landowner radicalism is ticking upwards. Okay, that is absolutely understood. We'll see what that ends up looking like, but what we really need is the British League appeasement to come up a bit, or the anti-British League appeasement to come up a bit. That's really what needs to happen here. So that'll be fine. We're going to have this government administration done in eight weeks. The railway in Piaui is definitely a little slower because we did start up the railway and a fishing wharf. Okay. That is noted. Oh, Britain's building something. A coal mine in Rio Grande do Sul. Okay. So this is going to be owned by Britain, and we'll see what that ends up feeling like. But I feel like, at this moment, developing faster is maybe worth it. But they're also not just pouring, like, tons of money into our country, which is probably fine. So we can see here we have a transportation shortage in Piaui and in Bahia. Now, I believe that we finished a railroad in Bahia, right? Well, we have a port anyway. Okay, this is queued. Gotcha. So that's fine. That does, of course, mean that, yeah, this railway is right here. We're going to be working on that very soon. So that seems good. We finished up that government administration. This is a lie. We're not making 18K. We're making 5K. That's much better. And our bureaucracy is at plus 41 right now. So when we finish this, it's going to drop our bureaucracy. We're going to go slightly... Um, actually, at this point, we might not go slightly negative. We might remain slightly positive. Okay, we'll keep an eye on that. For the time being, that looks reasonably fine. The landowners are now at minus nine. Unhappy. Okay, that is because 39% of their political strength is radical. Now, nitroglycerin has been unlocked, and we do want to go for dynamite as soon as possible because nitroglycerin has a pretty significant, as a production method, has a pretty significant mortality rate to it. 10, 30, and 20. Whereas dynamite is just better. It has more throughput, and it doesn't have that mortality rate. Nitroglycerin is far more dangerous. So we're going to get started on dynamite. 
but we are going to switch to nitroglycerin for now because that is going to be a lot more production. So that's fine, but it is going to absolutely surge the price of explosives. So that, of course, means that we need an explosives factory. Do we have one already? The answer is no, we do not. We will put one in in Minas Gerais. That'll be done in 32 weeks. For the moment, I'm going to run an import route. And we're going to import a little bit there. Now, I do want to check in on our trade routes here. Yeah, we should get rid of this import. For the moment, the rest of these are okay. So we're going to be importing explosives temporarily. There's a steel shortage in Bahia. Again, this is probably due to the market access, which we are going to get that done with this railway. But the explosives factory does mean that it's going to take us a little bit of time which is completely understood. 29 weeks added onto our queue here. Cool. So we have no infamy at this moment. We've not done much militarily because I don't feel like we're in an economic situation to do much militarily. Although our economic situation has improved markedly at this point. We are in a significantly better position than we were. And arguably we could start fighting someone like Bolivia. France has investment rights in them. So France might do something. Nationalizes all building properties in Bolivia in all Brazilian states. Interesting. Very interesting. So Peru is currently our puppet, right? I want to take a look at this. Their liberty desire is going up, so they want to increase their autonomy. I would much rather annex them. This would be 35.2 infamy. Would they accept this? They will not accept a forced diplomatic play? Okay. So, it's reasonably likely that no one would get involved in it. But I absolutely want to reduce their liberty desire. So, what else do we need? Plus 0.35 from relative prestige below 3.0 multiplier desired for puppet. We're at 2.8x. So, we need more prestige. That's the reason this is going up. Okay. Okay. So if we were to go into our budget here and return our government wages to normal, we'll no longer sack our prestige. And now we're going to be running a deficit for a little bit, but I'm not too concerned about that. Now this should start to go down. Yeah, beautiful. So that looks fantastic. Very, very happy about that. So Charity Hospitals has progressed to study. That seems good. We're 24 weeks away on that explosives factory and 57 weeks away from our railway in Piaui. Now, we are running a small deficit at this moment. That will change quite soon, though. You can see that our economy has shrunk a little bit due to our explosive shortage. That's not shocking. That import route will help matters, but it will certainly not, certainly not fix the problem. So this railway is going to be done in 53 weeks. I'm just, I'm wishing we had more construction, right? That would be very helpful. No doubt about that. What's our legitimacy at right now? Contested government 72. Okay, we need the Catholic Church to get a little happier. And that will slowly change as they get over the cultural exclusion issue. The landowners are remaining unhappy due to radicalism. There's not many landowners. And they just dropped to influential. So that's intriguing. I'm noting that the anti-British league is still at negative six, though. I think this is a rounding issue. Yeah, this is negative five here. So that is definitely some rounding. So we could do something against Britain but we're not going to. The landowners are the core problem here. We don't ultimately want them to be in government, but you know, what are we gonna do? This is fine for now. 
So the explosives factory is going to be done in 11 weeks. And Charity Hospitals has now progressed to voting. That sounds good. We'll see about maybe throwing a some sort of a bone to the to the landed as soon as we're done with the health system. I would definitely like to boost up their opinion of us somewhat, but for now, this'll do. So integrating the Brazilian nation is... I don't know that this is actually going to happen. I do think that we need to grab this area here from Argentina. I think that's probably something that needs to happen. Who likes Argentina? Literally no one. They're trying to improve their relationship with Spain. So there's that. Okay. Well, let's continue our construction for the moment. I'm starting to think about going to war again. I'm noting this steel shortage. Okay. That steel shortage is definitely a significant issue. For the time being, let's get this explosives factory done to deal with the explosives shortage. And I think that we should start a steel factory, a steel mill here. And that should go in Sao Paulo. So we're going to do that. So here in Sao Paulo, I want to check in. We do have employment in our steel mill, right? We do need this. Yes, we are at peak steel production. So that is fine. We'll get going on that. We're going to finish the explosives factory first and then work on the steel mill. So we've got two weeks left on the explosives factory. And the steel mill is currently 136 weeks out, but it'll actually be significantly faster than that. So that sounds good. And then this railway will continue to be worked on in the background. Yeah, so this steel mill is now 31 weeks out. The explosives factory is now done, which should deal in theory with this explosive shortage, or at least cut back on it. But we now have charity hospitals. So that is very good for us. Now we need to think about something to throw at the landowners. They would like hereditary bureaucrats, but I don't think we should go for that. A lot of things that the landowners like, I don't think we should go for. So, uh, that's exciting. We're on public schools right now. I don't want to back off of that. Hmm. Nobody cares that is relevant about colonization. And I don't either, for that matter. We're not in a position to do any of that. So, I don't think that's a good idea. I think we're just going to have to leave the landowners where they're at and be like, you know what? You just got to deal with it. I think that's where we are right now. So our radicalism is in a much better state, but it's not perfect. That's for sure. And we're 27 weeks away from getting the steel mill done, and the railway is 15 weeks out. So that looks good. We're at minus 54 right now on the explosives, and I do want to check in on how that explosives factory is doing in Minas Gerais. Okay, it is still employing up. There's a lot of space there. We can also go to the ammonia soda process, which we probably should do. Do it. So that will further boost our explosive production. No longer do we have an explosives input goods shortage. Now we have a steel input goods shortage, but we knew that was going to be the case for the moment. So decree cost, trade route bureaucracy cost. We do have some trade routes. Hmm. I'm going to go with the construction sector building throughput. And we've got the business of legislation here. Five legitimacy or appeasement of the anti-British league. Ooh, that's a hard call, I feel like. We're at 71 legitimacy. Five legitimacy would put us into a legitimate government. Barely. But it would put us into a legitimate government. So let's do that. And the landowners are still unhappy, but the Catholic Church is... They're neutral. But they'll get there eventually. Okay. 
So this is reasonably fine where we're at right now. We're going to be done with this railway in 10 weeks. We are producing extra construction, which of course is hurting our weekly balance a little bit here, but it's not too bad. Grain is expensive. Transportation shortage in Piaui, which we are currently finishing up in eight weeks. And we've got a steel shortage that we are going to address in 16 weeks. So that seems okay. And then we've got all of these gold mines and we've got all of this market access that all needs to get dealt with. Okay. I think this is fine. I think we're in a good position here, really. We finish up this railway, we get this gold mine done, and we just need to keep our goods relatively balanced. We're in a much better economic position than we were not too long ago. So this is very, very good. The main thing that I want to see at this point is I want to see our balance go positive so that we're not paying this interest. Our debt is lower than it has been in the past at this moment, but we are still deficit spending at this time. So that is noted. We also see a food industry and a vineyard going in with our private construction, which is fine. We are completely fine with that. No foreign queues being built right now. So I want to check in on the coal mine here. So there's two of 28 building levels, and we can see that the owners are us, and the financial district in the Midlands, which of course is Britain. So one of these building levels is owned by Britain and one is owned by us. But even so, the coal is entering our market. So that is probably ultimately fine. I think that there's not any significant issue with that. It could be better for sure. I would prefer that we own it, but you know, it's fine. Anyway, we slice it somebody's going to own it. It would be best to be us, but, you know, it doesn't matter. So that is all absolutely okay. We're going to have this steel mill done in five weeks. Now, what is the max production of one of these steel mills? Or at least the base production. 65 is the answer. So that's not going to completely get rid of our deficit of steel, but that's okay. We don't need to. We just need to drop it enough that our price is no longer capped. And, well, the input goods shortage is the problem. The price cap is not necessarily the issue, although that can create issues. So this will bring this down to, like, 15 as the deficit, which is enough. So that'll be okay to proceed for now. Do we need fertilizer? I'm noting this fertilizer plant in Minas Gerais, and I'm thinking, is that necessary right now? I don't actually know. What is the price of fertilizer at this time? Looks like plus 61%. So yeah, that's a reasonable thing to have there. The, the price of fertilizer is quite high at this moment. Okay, sounds good. So we're going to get this gold mine in Minas Gerais done very soon. That looks great. We only have one private construction right now, so we are not pulling out of our investment pool as much as we maybe could. And that is why we're running a deficit right now. Artillery is currently expensive. That is understood. So up to 7.7 .7 million. Our GDP is now higher than it has ever been. Beautiful. That is looking very solid. Our GDP is recovering extraordinarily nicely. Yeah, we did have a ridiculous drop here from good substitution. But we've been slowly building back up. And we will now be building up faster than we would have without that. So that sounds great. We're going to be finishing up this gold mine in one week. That should bring us positive financially. I see that we're slightly negative on our bureaucracy, and we probably do want to do something about that. The question is, when? I think the answer to that is eventually, but not necessarily right now. I think I'm completely content right now building what we're building. So we need to raise up the market access in Bahia in Rio Grande de Norte. Eh, that's not a huge priority. And really, this is the next one that we need. And that's the next one in the queue. So that sounds great. 
yeah, this looks very good. I think we're in a much, much better position now. It is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we may think about expanding out our army a little bit and going after some of these guys down over here. That may not be the worst thing in the world. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Atala, Andy Magar, Ali Lee, Dark Horse, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Tommy Kentogan, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.